Hi, know anybody that's got teeth? Well, of course we all do and we're using toothpaste and mouthwash to keep our teeth clean, our breath fresh, but many of the ingredients that are in these products are potentially harmful. Hi, I'm Tom Maurer. I'm the Chief Science Officer and Founder of Sizzle International. And we make the most sophisticated, highly advanced line of products in the world for personal care. And dental care is a very important part of it. So let's talk about what toothpaste are and how they achieve what they do. First of all, toothpaste need to foam. And most toothpaste use sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium lauryl sulfate. And these are very aggressive compounds and science is showing that they may actually cause uh, gum disease and tooth loss and increase cavities. Uh, sodium lauryl sulfate is used for degreasing engine floors and, and lauryl sulfate is used for car wash soaps and things of that nature. So what are they doing there? Well, they're old time ingredients, they've been used for a long time and the potentially harmful ingredients in them weren't known. But now they know that it is possible in the manufacture of them many endocrine disruptors that actually are affecting you yourself are in these products and penetrate through those sensitive mucous membranes and go throughout your entire body. So there's a real danger in using these products, we believe, at Sizzle. As a consequence, uh, let's look at what can be done to address the problems that you have in your toothpaste and mouthwash that you didn't even know there. First of all, fluoride. A lot of people are in disagreement with fluoride and we really are too. It's just a byproduct of an industrial process, but it will attach to your to your teeth, to your enamel, and yes, it hardens it to a certain degree. But pick up your toothpaste box and read on it, and it says it's a poison. And if uh, you ingest more than a pea or more than is normally used for brushing, you should see uh, a doctor or call a poison control center immediately. Well, understand that children ingest over half of the toothpaste they use if they're under the age of six. So this ought to be a primary concern because not only is it that, it's a carcinogen or potential cancer causing agent. So are many of the ingredients that are used in toothpaste. They also have that possibility of putting large amounts of carcinogenic or endocrine disrupting ingredients into your body. Now mouthwash is a lot the same. There's a study showing these alcohol based mouthwashes can increase the rate, significantly increase the rate of throat cancer. So what do you do? Well, it's pretty simple. You avoid these ingredients in the products, but where do you find them? Well, if you can go to the store and you can look at the labels all day long and you'll find out same, 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 same. So what's the difference in toothpaste? Well, the difference in toothpaste is found at Sizzle because we don't use any of these potentially harmful ingredients and we use the ones that will clean and rinse and then we put ingredients in it that fortify your dental program the way that you want. In place of fluoride, we have an ingredient called calcium hydroxyapatite and I know that's a difficult name but it actually will uh, attach to the enamel on your teeth and provide a coating that is very nice to keep the breath fresh to uh, help to prevent bacteria from attaching to it and as a consequence you can have a better hygienic program with it. With our mouthwash we're using an ingredient uh, that does not contain any type of alcohol and instead of just going in and trying to wash away things, it actually will break down the odor causing agents. And in both products we use xylitol and xylitol has been shown in studies as the ingredient that it will uh, put a microscopic film on teeth which is rinsed away every time that you uh, rebrush or use mouthwash, but it will not let bacteria attach and grow. So this is the kind of dental pro program that you want a toothpaste with none of these harmful ingredients and a mouthwash too and then fortified with all of these ingredients that can make your dental program be what it's supposed to be.